In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to design high converting emails right inside of Figma so that even if you're a solo founder, a freelance email marketer, a brand owner that's like super strapped on both time and resources, you can still design high converting emails in like 15, 20 minutes for your brand that just absolutely print sales for you guys. So let's jump into it. First things first, you're gonna want to have some idea of what a high converting email looks like. And the easiest way to do that is I've actually published over 200 of my agency's top performing campaigns that we sent in Q1 of 2023 as like a little swipe file. So if you wanna get access to this exact Figma file to draw inspiration, just sign up to my mailing list, which is emailmarketer.com, link in the description below, and I'll send that right to your inbox. So essentially I've copied one over just to give you an idea of how like emails are generally laid out. And we're gonna be designing one live together for this brand right here called Superbrew. First things first, you're always gonna wanna start off with creating like a logo block. And that's super easy to do. You just wanna drag like a little rectangle tool right here on a frame that is 1000 pixels in width. And you're gonna set the height to 140 pixels height. And then you're gonna go and copy over the logo from the website and drag it right in here. Make sure it's center aligned. And then for the background color, you just wanna have this little Chrome extension called Color Pick Eyedropper, and you're just gonna select the color in which you want the background. So in this case, I'm, I can see that the brand color is this nice orange. I'm just gonna copy this hex code over and set the background color. Now, you can also do something like this, which is like a header bar, right, to highlight the offer straight away. This is something that's pretty cool, and we're gonna be implementing this right here as well, because the product page for this is a 33% discount, and I'm guessing they're probably gonna have free shipping as well right here. So I'm just gonna copy this little bar over, and if you wanna create it again, it's just a simple rectangular, tool and you're gonna make it a little bit thinner, right? And for the background color, I'm just gonna choose hmm, the CTA color, which is like this dark navy blue right here. Color selection is actually one of the more important parts when it comes to email design. And it's something that's very easy to replicate. You literally just need to paste over the colors from the website and you'll be basically good to go. In terms of font discovery, obviously if you're a brand owner, you know exactly what fonts you guys use for the brand. Now, when it comes to font selection, obviously you're gonna to wanna to match it to the site, right? If you're a brand owner, you already know exactly what fonts your brand uses, but if you're a freelancer, what you can do is just inspect Element on some HTML text, and you'll be able to kind of see what fonts the brand is using. So in this case, you can see that the font face is Montserrat, which is very easy to replicate. It's just a typical Google font, and I'm gonna put 33% off plus free shipping. So once that's done, you basically can start building what's known as the banner image, right? And this is pretty easy to do. It's basically comprised of the headline of the email along with some sort of creative followed by a call to action button. So you can see like in just a couple minutes, it's already starting to shape up a little bit, right? As like a whole email itself. The next thing you want to really have uh, it followed by is the call to action button, which is again, very, very easy to design. It's basically a rectangle with some text in between, right? So I'm just gonna drag in a rectangle right here. So I'm gonna make it around 100 in height and maybe around 400 in width. It, this part like doesn't matter too much about like the size of the button. It's mainly factoring in kind of like what you want the CTA text to be, right? So in this case, I'm just gonna do a simple order now as the CTA text, boom, place it right here. I'll probably drop the font to like 45 maybe, no, maybe like 30. 
let's see how they do it. So that CTA tax is actually fairly large. So I'm going to follow along with the same kind of like size and then just make the colors matched with the CTA buttons on the website as well. So I'm going to copy over the hex code from here and then boom. Done. I can see that also with the website, they kind of use rounded edges with some shadow effects on the actual buttons itself. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little drop shadow, make the spread maybe like two or three, and then add some rounded corners for effects. So I'm going to put this as maybe 10. A really easy hack for aligning everything is just using the alignment button. So for example, if I want to put this to the left, I can click here, right align, center align, and boom, you're good to go. Right. So now the banner is basically completed. We're then going to work on kind of the next section, which I would like to call the content section. One important thing to note is when you're designing emails, it's really important to convey the messaging above the fold, meaning the user on mobile doesn't need to scroll in order to actually see the purpose behind why they should be reading the email. So in this instance, because we're going after kind of like a sales type of angle, I'm going to drag this down a little bit just so that I can add like a sub headline and I'm going to put 33% off for a limited time. Make this font a bit smaller and not bold. Put it at 35 and you're good to go. One thing I really, really like about this brand is the fact that they have a comparison table against kind of like their top competitors, right? Obviously, green logo coffee is just Starbucks, right? And then other mushroom coffees, they kind of have like this comparison. So if you're strapped on time, you can actually a lot of the times just get away with copying direct elements from your actual product page. And this is actually something that I would recommend. Of course, if my team was on this and our designers actually had the time, what we would go in and do is rebuild this table to make it more readable, for example, on mobile. So what I can tell you straight away is like, for example, the fonts right here are gonna be a lot harder to read on mobile in comparison to what it looks like on desktop right now. But again, if you're a solo founder strapped for time, feel free to just do this. After every section, it's really important that you want that you add like a call to action button, right? So in this case, I'm just gonna drag another one right here. And in terms of the length of the email, it's kind of looking a little bit too short for what I wanna do with it. So I'm just gonna expand the frame to add like another roughly like thousand pixels, let's say. Another really key part of high converting emails is introducing social proof, right? Like why should people trust your brand? as opposed to anyone else. Now, the easiest way to do this is literally by incorporating some sort of review blocks and just copying the text directly from your product page. So the beauty about this is it might take some time for you to design first time round, but once you actually get this type of block done, you can copy and paste it over and over again between your email templates. For example, you can see that in the design gallery that if you got access to that, you'll see that a lot of the times when we do actually implement social proof, the format and the actual reviews that we choose are going to be the same pretty much throughout a bunch of like email templates. So once you actually design the blocks just one time, you can reuse it over and over again. So in this instance, I'm just going to take this, switch this out for kind of like more branded colors. you can see the email is already kind of coming together. Now, of course, if this was like a multi-product store, what we can do is also get a bit fancy in terms of like creating all of the different bundle blocks, such as in this example right here, where we're incorporating chains of different colors, adding separate CTAs, and then same thing here where we're displaying the different hardware that is available for the customer. But what you're going to notice is once you actually design something like this in terms of a product display block. If you're short on time, you can literally just copy and paste from old emails. Yes, over time, you're gonna to need to change up the aesthetic, etc. but this drastically, drastically cuts down the time it takes for you guys to create high converting campaigns. So I'm just gonna finish designing this email and then I'm gonna show you guys how to really easily build this out inside of Klaviyo.
So I just finished designing this email and you can see it really didn't take that long, right? And it's gonna be even quicker to build this inside of Klaviyo. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do that right now. So you're gonna head over to your Klaviyo account and you're just gonna hit create a campaign and you're gonna name this whatever really, it doesn't necessarily matter too much, but just with the general campaign angle. So I'm gonna call this Super Brews demo. And you're gonna to wanna to select the segments that you actually wanna be sending it to. So in my instance, I'm just gonna click this uh, test list right here. Populate it with subject lines and preview text is super important. And then you're just gonna hit create blank email. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in here and just delete all of the sections. Remember, I'm trying to show you guys how to design emails in the most time efficient way possible whilst delivering the highest conversions. And that's why we're gonna be uploading everything as an image block. Once you drag in this image block, you're gonna go ahead and export this entire thing as one JPEG. If you really wanna get fancy, however, you can implement some slices. But again, for the sake of time, I'm just gonna export this. It's really important when you're exporting to export as a JPEG as opposed to a PNG file, simply because with PNG files, they would generally have a transparent background, which means that your emails would look really, really awful in dark mode. So you're just gonna hit export and you're gonna go ahead and upload this into Klaviyo. Now, once this is uploaded, you're gonna add a call to action link. So in this case, I'm just gonna put it to the homepage of this brand. But of course, normally you wanna be directing traffic straight to the product page itself. Another thing that's super important is that you add the alt text to the actual image block, basically describing what the actual image is. So in this instance, it's like super brews, um, coffee alternative that provides all the benefits and taste of coffee with zero downsides. Now, the alt text is mainly just to have metadata for the backend of emails. And it doesn't really necessarily matter too much what you actually write on that side of things. And you're basically good to go. You can just go ahead and schedule it as normal. You can see email size is not too big. One of the biggest concerns I get is like people thinking, oh my God, like my emails are way too big because everything is an image block as opposed to text HTML and all of these other things and it's gonna go into spam. That's not how it works. Like I'm telling you, We've been doing this for five years, just like this, and it works completely fine. Yeah, that's how to design professional looking emails. Now, if you're a brand owner watching this and you feel like you don't want to settle for second best when it comes to your email marketing, feel free to book in a call through my scheduler down in the description. I'd love to have a chat with you and see if we can take over your email marketing to really maximize and drive revenue and retention amongst your customer base. Talk soon, see you next time.